the rights of the slow sea. I still call your B. Estrada, a direct descendant of Vicente Alvarez, one of the Zamboanga City's premier artists, painter and sculptor, currently working as an executive assistant in the office of the city mayor, and is overlooking the city hall restoration, writes a weekly arts column, does extensive research in the arts and culture of the Zamboanga. Zamboanga City sits at the tip of the southernmost peninsula of the Philippines, strategically located along an important sea route between then north and south regions of the Philippines. Its geographical advantage made it valuable to the Catholic Spaniards who colonized in the 16th century. Spanish colonists built forts to protect their interest in the city and to discourage potential invaders. The Riders The Riders, indigenous people defending their way of the life against an oppressor. Samal Balangenge, Ilanun, and Tausu. Slave riding have been practiced among some tribes in the Philippines before the arrival of the Western powers. It was legal during the 18th century. The arrival of Spanish and their interest triggered this activity. in the name of a harakos, the spread of Islam and eliminate this present of Christian, Spanish, and Zamboanga, increase in slaves and demand for them feed into a situation by the mid-18th century when something unprecedented happened in the Malacca Straits region. The seasonal arrival of a very large number of riders from the southern Philippines. <laughs> Equipments used in riding Vessels or warships The first is Lanong or Huangas The second is Garay. And then the Silisipan. And these are the handheld weapons. The Moro Barun. More Chris or Kalais. And then the comp Also, the body armor.
form of government during those times. Religions practiced or existed during those times, Christianity and Islam. Economic counterparts of the events, slave trading and exchange, products, spices, woods, tin, and pepper. Slaves, writer, and the Spanish Islam against Christianity, the indigenous way of life against the enforced values of the occupiers, the might of sword against the destructive power of gunpowder. These are the contribution in understanding the grand narrative of Philippine history. Today, as in the past, the armed conflict in southern Philippines can be viewed from different perspectives, economic, cultural, and social. These are the relevance in the contemporary time. Definitely, there is a need to address the Muslim Filipino community's struggle for self-determination and autonomy within the context of the Philippine national sovereignty. <laughs>